Hey, good morning. Yes, I just wanted to cover this. Sauli needs to getting this Atlantic Council Global Citizen Award just really briefly because of a few things that they had to say, but it's nothing new. You know, it's nothing new under the sun, right? Right. We understand they all speak in the same voice and you'll see that here and I was going to show you the footage here at this point but this is take number two and I had a lot of glitches so let's just have the clips at the end just in case something goes wrong but you'll see or as you can see there's this beautiful event you know many people were honored here look at my other video on this to see exactly who but of course they also gave honor to the queen since she passed away and I'm not going to show footage of that at all because I think we've seen enough of the queen now Nienister himself spoke there and I just want to say that Finn speak in a very monotone way and this president speaks very slowly so that's a major reason why I am not even going to show you a lot of what he has to say but you'll hear just a very short clip but let's go over a few things that he does say here you know to paraphrase President Kennedy we intend to not only ask what NATO can do for us but what we can do for NATO Ugh, right please but he goes on to say, as the world grows more and more insecure and divided, it is imperative that we come even closer together. Oh, there's that together, you know, unity. Let's become one, right? And he talks about our future. Oh, yes, about how... The but you can find all his awards, you know, the ones he's over. The ones on the right-hand side are, are what he wears all the time. You'll see them when he meets other people, especially the king. But the ones on the left, he's just recently received, by the way, but he's been a part of Rotary Club for a long time. You know, Order of Prince Yaroslav of the Wise, I believe it was from Ukraine. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, he's the Grand Master and Commander. So when he speaks of our values, you know, he's meaning, you know, the club. But we've looked at the seraphim, you know, here he wears a silver sash in, when he's meeting the king, but it changes, it, it varies depending on what maybe party they're having, I don't know. But he's got a red sash, he's got a yellow sash, he's got the silver sash, and sometimes he doesn't wear the sash at all. And it changes on the chains that he wears depending on who he's seeing, you know. <laughs> really bizarre, I don't know the reasons, maybe some other people know, but... All I can say is I understand who he is. And then he says efforts are already underway to increase cooperation among the so-called techno-democracies. Oh, okay, right? He's got full support from Nienister. Yeah, wow. Well, I have my few thoughts on what I'm thinking when he says that. You know, we understand that they went and are saying this all due to NATO, but we know they were already on board. I mean, the social credit score, you think it's only happening in China? No, it's happening everywhere. Finland went into NATO due to fear, right? That's what they're telling us. We went in because of fear, but we know that fear is not from God. The spirit of fear, no. He is all about love and sound mind. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Remember that. That's why I always said, even during the pandemic, do not go into fear. Don't do anything out of fear. No, you need to trust God. But since he was not there personally, Bekka accepted the award. Oh, that's so great. You know, if you don't know who this man is, you know, he's written a few books, had some books written about him. He's a part of the Green Party. He's openly gay. But, you know, pictures speak a thousand words. So let's look at a few pictures right here. He's wearing the same cross. Yeah, of course. So we know he's in the club, right? Yeah, of course. And, but this one says it all. He's a part of this European Council on Foreign Relations. Yeah, that was founded by Marti Ahtasari, another Finn, but also none other than George Soros, right? The Open Society Foundation. But what he said in here, you need to hear really loud and clear. We need to maintain and renew the international rules-based system built on values we share. Wow. Yeah, he said a lot more yada, 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 but he might as well have said the new world order because that's what he meant by the rules-based order, right? You, 
You guys know that. But we're not surprised of, of the Atlantic Council. You know, they gave awards to, you know, Ursula von der Leyen and Albert Burla. <laughs> so we know exactly who they are. Oops, I'm sorry about that. I mean, even Guadalupe or whatever her name is got an award. But we know what comes out of their mouth, right? That's what comes out for the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh and we know what's coming out of his mouth is the exact same things that come out of the mouth of all of these leaders that we're seeing all the same people that are joint with the UN and God knows who are his and yes he has laid the foundation so if you're not one of his and you're one with the leaders then you're not on found you're not on solid solid rock that's all I'm gonna say so there you have it please watch I'm only gonna show you two very short clips here at the end but all I can say is good for you for getting the awards because we know you've received your reward here on earth and it's seen in front of all man and money does not bring happiness getting awards does not bring you happiness you know just like having a house a huge mansion or the most expensive car doesn't bring you joy it's a temporary joy the true joy comes from knowing Jesus and having him and accepting him into your heart all right that's it let's look at the few short clips and that's it for today god bless take care have it a- over the years i have a- had the pleasure of meeting five U.S. presidents. To all of them, my message has been the same. We are interlinked through our values, our economies, and our history. Yes, Europe needs the U.S., but uh, the U.S. also needs Europe to keep up. And we need to ensure that technology will be developed and used in line with our values. We need to remain resilient and keep on strengthening the transatlantic cooperation. We need to maintain and renew the international rules-based system built on the values we share.